Hi guys, we've got fan cams. Luke's first on. Uh, Luke, uh, two two. I, I think it's fair to say we've stole a point there, haven't we? Yeah, I think um, we started the game really well. Um, we got a quick goal. We had a lot of urgency about us, and I wanted us to get a second after that straight away, just to really get a bit of a cushion because you knew that Bristol were going to come back into it during the game, and yeah. um, they did as the half went on. I felt they played some decent football, Martin. And Vyman obviously took the players <clears throat> level. But I, yeah. felt, I felt that we defended well and I felt we kept it pretty simple. There were a few times that we tried to play the ball from the back, which sometimes I don't agree with. It shouldn't always be played out from the back from goal kicks. And Walton got himself into a bit of a dodgy situation a couple of times in Manelik. Yeah. Uh, and they were reading us. But we were also pressing them from, from their defence. I felt that their defence were, were gettable and, you know, we could get at them. But I were happy we won the lead at half-time, but I felt that Bristol were going to come out in the second half with a bit of a uh, rocket up their arse, and obviously they did. But it's so frustrating, Luke, because I feel, especially the first goal, it came from our own throwing down that right-hand side near the corner. Yeah. Uh, I'm... Jordan yeah. Williams with that sloppy throw, and then they've come on counter, and we hadn't dealt with the situation. There were four different times. With... Walton's made a decent save to start with, but I felt he should have held on to that second time. Um, and we should have cleared his lines better, if I'm being honest. I mean, I mean, we got we made perfect start, and that first half, it looked like you know they were there for attacking, and then we just did, yeah. we saw nothing of that in that second half. It were it were it were another almost Struber type of second half that there were, and I, Thomas for me is pinch ninety. I think he should have been off pitch. You yeah, know. I think um, the th the most frustrating thing is look, he gets into some really good positions, and you think he's going to do something really good with it. And he just makes the wrong choices time after time. And that's just some days, that performance today has just summed up his entire stint here at the club. I just feel so frustrated for him, really. It must be really frustrating for him. Yeah. He's just lacking that quality. And he looked better on right-hand side when he had more width to play with. But he was making wrong options. Solvauer, every time we are overlapping him, we weren't using him. He kept cutting inside when there were plenty of width there. There were that the one time that he cut inside and Solvauer... If you yeah. let him in, all he had to do was slot it into the bottom corner. Um, but I knew that Bristol had come back into the game. They haven't started, you know, four wins in a row for nothing. They're clearly confident and, you know, they played some decent football at times. But I didn't think they were they were far up levels above us, Luke. I think... No, no. Goal. Yeah. They've got, they've got a couple of experienced lads in, you know, down the spine of the team and they've got a bit of quality here and there. And that's the difference. And... Um, that second goal, obviously, it took a big deflection, but it was, you know, again, just we just couldn't clear his line. Just game management, you know, we conceded two goals in the space of three minutes, and it was so frustrating being one 0 up after 45 minutes, and then we're two one down. We, you know, five minutes going into the second half, but you know, credit to him, we huffed and puffed, and I felt we, you know, we'd um, they were just not falling for us, you know, they had bodies behind the ball and. You know, they put their captain Callas on with 10 minutes left just to show things up. And yeah. I felt Kane, when he came on, I felt he made a difference, but I felt he was playing too deep, Luke. He were, yeah, we so, I didn't know so where he was playing, to be fair, mate. He looked all over the place. He, he, you know what I mean? And I you could he tell him. Yeah. But for me, he's got to start Wednesday just behind Woodrow because I mm. think he's a lot more composed on the ball than Thomas. He's a lot more confident on it. Yeah. His, uh, his distribution's a lot quicker. The thing that was frustrating for me in the first half is. We were getting him into counter-attacking positions, but we just weren't getting them bodies forward. Mm. Um, in terms of Clark Adore starting, I'm glad he started. I think it gave us a lot of better balance over that left-hand side. Um, we've, we've been a natural left-footer. I don't get why they took him off. I mean, it just, he stays on for me and Jordan Williams comes off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you could see we're frustrated. Yeah. And he must, keep, he must keep thinking, is it something about me as a player? We had, why they keep... But... It's one of those things. I felt Palmer had a decent game for this game back in a while. He, you know, obviously assist for the first goal from corner. I felt he played okay. Yeah. Um, I felt Solbauer. I felt Solbauer had a really good game, and we wish us go out to him. Yeah, it, it looked a guy. nasty one. Eh? I mean, I don't get why it, it, it looked a, at first glance like I thought to me saying I didn't know if it were going to be a penalty or a free kick, but yeah. he's gone well into him there. They're decisions that referees usually bottle on edge area. Yeah. You know, 91st minute, it's a fair play to ref. Obviously, I'm going to give him a big thumbs up and send him a Christmas <laughs> card for that. Yeah. Because Bristol City fans will be saying <clears> it's outside box and all Barnsley fans will be saying it's inside box. Yeah. Um, 
but it's clumsy though from their player. He didn't have to make that challenge. There was no need for him to make it, and that's something that we usually do that type of challenge. Mm. Um, game management, they'll be absolutely gutted, Bristol, because obviously they've dropped two points. Um, but I, I didn't think we played as best. I felt Kane. Need, I think Kane and James need to come in on uh, Wednesday for me at Stoke, hundred mm. um, percent, just to shore us up in that midfield because it's going to be a lot more physical. Um, we're not going to have the ball as much away from home at Stoke. Um, I think James gives you a bit more composure and experience in the middle. I know he couldn't play in time with registration, but I think he he's got to come in. Yeah. And push Kane further forward. I felt we drew a good game. You could see that playing up top. This is what we kept saying. It looked oh, a lot more. Yeah, a lot more, a lot better, a lot better. Involved in game more. Yeah. Um, obviously, it, it was difficult for him because a lot of the time he had backs to back to goal, and obviously that ain't his game. Um, which is why I kept saying we needed another striker. And yeah. Um, I felt Chaplin played. I think we played okay. It, just then, five minutes in that second half, it was like, "What the fuck is going on?" It's just like Ed's gone. <laughs> yeah, Ed's it, honestly, um, just really naive and just that, just just going into bad habits again. Um, just that, just that, just were like Daniel, that were like Daniel Stendel type defending them two goals, just oh. like gung go forward, but there were no balance there. Do you know mm. what I mean? Um, were, it seemed they were bypass midfield. I mean, I thought Palmer had a really good first half. I thought, yeah, yeah I was surprised he were playing, but. You know, there were, were. I just, I don't know. I don't know where that's where we went from that first half. We just didn't come out, and then to concede we were, two goals in five minutes, it's poor. Yeah, game management, Luke. That's what we always say. Even yeah. when you're a younger player, when you're growing up, you say first 10, 10 minutes at second half, don't concede, mm. um, because you know that when Bristol got equalised, momentum would change. You yeah. know, they'd come back into it, and you know they got a second, more or less, two minutes after that. We still aren't. We still sat in dressing room by mm. luxury. We just we just didn't wake up at all. No. Um, like I said, we defended initially well, but we just didn't clear his lines. And um, it, we've got to get that. We've got to get them bad habits out of his game sooner rather than later, Luke. Because we can't keep going on like no, this. No, we can't. We can't. On, um, no. Last minute equalizers. But look, the top at league before the game, I'd have taken a point realistically. Um, so if, if tomorrow I'll probably look back on it and think it's a decent point, but. They said that we were in front and then we were 2 1 down five minutes into the second half. It is so frustrating to watch us at times. Um, but that hopefully that point will do them a bit of good. I've, I've said on um, on Twitter I've, we've got to get a manager in by next weekend, though. We can't mm. keep uh, this managerial search going on for too long. We've got to get no. somebody in and get them, and get them in straight it, away. And it's going to be tough on Wednesday at Stoke as well. Do you know what I mean? It's, I'll take games another point here, Luke. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Because um, they're, you know, it's. Obviously, Wednesday night at Stoke, it's uh, <laughs> everyone's made for it. <laughs> I know. Um, and um, they're a good team. They've got a lot of experience and quality in the side, like Bristol have. You know, yeah. they're a decent team, but there's not much levels apart from it. It's just the decision making in certain areas. Mm. They well, just looked a lot more comfortable in final third than we did going it's like, forward. It's like I said, when we were getting into good areas, we kept. Is there something against putting ball literally across the penalty spot? They kept well, drag, Chaplin, put, dragging it back all the time. Chaplin did it three times in game and there was nobody there at back post. And now I'm, I'm that's a re- big bugbear for me, is nobody making that late run into yeah. back post. And Chaplin three times just put it in at back stick and there was nobody there. Yeah, we were that's all what I mean. a cross box ball that, that Thomas kept doing. Mm. Um, and that's why I always say we need to commit more men going forward, which is why I like to see Kane play on Wednesday yeah. to make them late runs into the box because it's a nightmare to defend Luke. But yeah. like you said, I don't, I don't know if it's confidence. If it's uh, you know unwilling to take a gamble, I think especially with Thomas, it's with confidence when he's not willing to put them balls across the box. I think he's scared of making a mistake. Mm. Um, but like we said, I, I don't think he has pinched ninety, not because I think he's uh, I don't think he's had an absolute shocker, but I think he's he's so frustrating to watch, man, at times because he gets so much at ball and he's wasteful. And I, I do I do emp- I do feel sorry for him because I just want him to have a really good performance and then kick start from there. So Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Let's hope, let's hope. I mean there's there is some positives, but like I said, the the uh the negatives obviously second half decision making and game management, but hopefully you know five minutes low, just that five yeah, minutes. Yeah, it was five minutes or L, wasn't it? It was just five yeah. minutes or L, so we'll see, mate. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. The heads went, that's where it were. We didn't wake up. Mm. They've started we rocket up their ass. They've got a quick goal that's both of them are from our own doing, in my opinion. I don't think they've created it from their own work. No. I think it does just yeah, it's not not managing game properly, and you know the two one up. But fair, like like we like I've said, fair play to them. They've worked hard. They've stayed in the game. 
that's all you can do. You know, Bristol had a couple of chances to make it 3-1 and we defended well. Yeah. So we stayed in there. Woodrow, great penalty at the end. Um, but for me, James and Kane have got to come in on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, I imagine we'll be playing four at the back. I don't think Sol Bauer will... Uh, no. <laughs> I think, no. I think he'll be... Up. I hope it's not too serious, mate, end of day. Mm. Um, there's Let's bigger hope. things than football in there end of day so let's hope so mate let's hope so well uh, nice to have you on Luke anyways go take on yeah, last word <laughs> yeah take a point been 2-1 down we'll move on to Wednesday let's hope um, yeah yeah but it's a better point it's better than none the top at league so can't grumble with that Hopefully, mate, hopefully. Let's hope that we can pick something up for uh, Wednesday. And like you said, I'll join you in Sol Bauer as well. Hope it's not too serious, but I don't think we'll see him for Wednesday on, 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 on what we saw today, stretch it off anyway. So, all right then, mate. Well, pleasure speaking to you anyways. I'll probably, you have to let me know if you're available for a preview on uh, Tuesday. Yeah, of course I will, mate. I'll be in touch with you, obviously. Right to yours, mate. No worries. All right, guys. Thanks guys. for watching. Right, Luke. See you in a bit, mate. See you in a bit, mate.